All right, so 9.6 trapezoid. So here's the formula. We're talking about area of a trapezoid, okay? And remember when we talk about area of shapes, so whenever we talk about area, area refers to the space inside. Space inside. All right, so when we're finding area of a shape, we are finding how much space is actually inside the shape. Okay, so there is a very specific formula that you use to find area of trapezoids. This is the formula right here. It is, you're going to take one of the bases and you're going to add it to the other base. So it's base plus base. And we'll talk about it doesn't matter which order that you add the bases in. And then after you add the base plus the base, then you multiply that result with the height. And then after you multiply the base plus the base with the height, then you divide the entire formula with two. So in other words, when you divide the entire formula with two, you are cutting the formula in half, all right? So you're going to take one of the bases, add it to the other base, and it doesn't matter which order you do that in. After you add the two bases up, then you are going to multiply that with the height. And then after you multiply it with the height, then you're going to divide by two, okay? Base plus base times height divided by two is the formula. So if we go down here to this example right here, we are going to find the area. Notice it says find the area of each trapezoid, okay? So we look at the trapezoid and we have to determine which sides are the bases, okay? So remember the bases of a trapezoid, they're the two sides that are parallel with each other. There will always be two bases. So in this case, the parallel sides are that side and that side that I just highlighted in yellow, which have a length of 11 and 15. And then the other part of the trapezoid that you have to recognize is the height of the trapezoid. And the height of the trapezoid, once again, it's the line segment that connects the bases with a 90 degrees. So you can see the height is that part of the trapezoid that I just highlighted in green. All right, so that means to find the area of this trapezoid, I would just take my formula and then plug in my values from my diagram into the formula to find the area. All right, so I'm going to take my formula, base plus base, my bases are 11 and 15, so you're going to go 11 plus 15. And it does not matter if you go 15 plus 11 or 11 plus 15. The result's going to be the same when you add up the bases. Then you're going to multiply it with the height, and the height of this trapezoid is 7. And then you're going to divide the entire formula with 2. OK, so you work this out and when you work out this formula, you have to work it out in a very specific order. All right. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to add up the 11 and the 15. So that's going to make 26 times 7 divided by then you're going to divide it all by 2. The next order that you have to do is you have to multiply 26 times 7, all right? Now, when you multiply the 26 times the 7, if you're doing it on a calculator, make sure to press equals. And that equals 182. And then the last step you're going to do is you're going to divide the formula with 2. 182 divided by 2 is 91. All right, so in that first example right there, the area of the trapezoid is 91. Okay, moving on to the second trapezoid, we're going to do this one right here. Okay, so on this one, this is an example of a trapezoid where the when you recognize the bases, the bases are not one of the bottoms of the shape. 
Okay, so the bases are the parallel sides. So that would be the side that has a length of 13 as a base and the side that has a length of 19 is a base, okay? The two bases are always the parallel sides, and the other part of the trapezoid that we have to recognize is the height of the trapezoid, and the height is gonna be that line right there that I'm highlighting in green. And remember, the height is the line segment that connects the two bases with a 90 degree angle, all right? So once I know my bases, once I know my height, I now can put find the area, all right? So this means for this one, the area is going to be base plus base, and I'm gonna do 13 plus 19, but it doesn't matter if you do 19 plus 13. Then you multiply that with the height, which is 14, and then you're gonna divide the entire formula with two. Okay, and then we work this out in a very specific order when we're solving out the formula for the area. We have to add the bases up first. 13 plus 19 is 32. So now we're gonna get 32, which was the result of the 19 plus 13 times 14 divided by two. Your next step is you're going to multiply the 32 times the 14. Which is 448. And then your last step would be to divide that 448 with 2, which is 224. Okay, so in this second trapezoid, the area of the trapezoid is 224, all right? All right, so moving on to the second page. Now, in this particular problem, we're gonna find the area of the trapezoid, and we're also gonna find the perimeter of the trapezoid, okay? So first of all, let's, let's find the area first, okay? So to find the area, you have to recognize, identify the bases, okay? So you can see the bases are the two parallel sides, which in this case would be that top side, which has a length of six, and then it would also be that bottom side right there, okay? And what makes this problem a little bit unique is, is that we don't know how long that bottom base is yet. We're gonna find it, but we don't know it yet. Okay, the other part that you need to recognize to find the area of a trapezoid is the height. Okay, and the height of the trapezoid is the line segment that connects the two bases and forms the 90 degree angle. So the height is that green line segment, which has a length of eight. Okay, all right, so now let's go and let's find how long this bottom base is, all right? Now, there's a couple things that we know. There's actually one thing that we know. Because the top base is already marked at six, that means the bottom part of the bottom base is already, that bottom part right there is gonna be have a length of six, okay? Now, that is only, that six, is only that part of the bottom base. So the bottom base is definitely longer than six, okay? And as a matter of fact, it's six plus this other part of the bottom base, which I just labeled as X. So if I know how long X is, I then would add that X with the six, and that would tell me how long that bottom base of the trapezoid is, okay? So how do I find the value of X? What I do is, if you notice, there is right here, and I'm shading it in, that triangle is a right triangle that I just shaded in. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna use Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared 
in order to find the value of x, okay? So it's pretty common that when you're dealing with a trapezoid in particular, that you have to use a squared plus b squared equals c squared at some point in time in the problem to find a missing part. Now, when I'm using a squared plus b squared equals c squared, also known as Pythagorean theorem, remember the value of c has to be the hypotenuse value. And the hypotenuse in my right triangle is 10. So you have to make your C value 10. So that would make 10 squared. And then the X and the 8, that's your A and your B. So my A value, I'm going to denote as X. Plus my B value, I'm going to denote as 8. So when I substitute the X, the 8, and the 10 into Pythagorean theorem, I get X squared plus 8 squared equals 10 squared. And now I'm going to solve this equation. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify the squares. I cannot simplify X squared plus, but 8 squared simplifies to 64. 10 squared simplifies to 100. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate the x squared, and I'm going to do that by minusing 64 from both sides of the equation. When I minus 64, the 64s on the left cancel out. And then I get a new equation, which is x squared is equal to 36. And then the last step that I'm going to do is I'm going to square root 36. And that is going to give me my answer for x. And x is going to be equal to 6. Okay. Technically, I square rooted both sides of the equation. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 36 is 6. So now I know that my x value has a value of 6. Okay. So what does that mean? It means that my bottom base of my trapezoid has a value of 12, okay? So 12 is the entire bottom of the shape, all right? Now I can find the area of the shape, of the trapezoid, all right? So how do you find area? You go base plus base, which would be 6 plus 12. The top base is 6, the bottom base is 12. Then you multiply with the height. The height is 8. And then you divide the entire formula with 2. Okay. Then you work this out, following a very specific order that you work it out. First order of business is add up to 6 and the 12. That makes 18. So now I'm going to have 18 times 8 divided by 2. My next order of business would be to multiply the 8 with the 18. That's 144. So I'm going to have 144 divided by 2. And my last order of business to find the area would be to divide by 2. So I get an area equal to 72. Okay, so that would be the area of the trapezoid. Okay, now let's find the perimeter of the trapezoid. All right, now there's no special way to find perimeter. The way you find the perimeter is you add up all the sides of the shape, the outside sides, not the inside sides, the outside sides. Okay, so I'm going to add up six, which is how long the top is, plus 10, which is how long the left side of the trapezoid is, plus the bottom, which is has a length of 12. Plus, and here's the fourth side here is, you know what it is, but it's not marked. Okay, the fourth side would be this blue side right here that I'm kind of dark in highlighting in, and that thicker highlight blue. How long is it, people? You know what it is, but it's not written in. It's eight, okay? That right side has to be eight. It matches up with the eight over here. All right. So I'm going to add eight. 
So my perimeter would be 6 plus 10 plus 12 plus 8. Those add up to 36. So my perimeter is 36. All right. And once again, I would not have been able to find perimeter if I wouldn't have done Pythagorean theorem, which helped me figure out how long the bottom of the trapezoid was, which was the base there. All right.